In this unit, we're talking about island biogeography, which is a really interesting concept. And islands have helped us to understand a lot about species diversity and speciation. But first, we need to talk about biogeography. This is the study of the distribution of organisms in space, both historically and currently. So this picture here is showing uh, grizzly habitat and polar bear habitat. The historical grizzly habitat is what's included in this very dark brown section here. The extended range of grizzly bear habitat is where grizzlies are actually extending to nowadays. And the polar bear habitat is this red slashed region over here. And so as you can see, grizzly bears and polar bears historically did not interact with each other. But now, because of climate change, they are coming in contact. And that's causing some interesting uh, competitive interactions that we're starting to see with those species. So biogeography specific to islands and their species is island biogeography. And in particular, we're interested in dispersal and the effects of certain things on species diversity. So these things that we're going to look at are area effects, distance effects, and age effects. Dispersal just means how do species reach an island? And there are actually several methods. Some of the most common are by flying there, blowing by wind, or floating around in the water. And I've got this picture here of a coconut seed with a sprout coming out of it because coconuts are commonly dispersed by floating around on the water. The species diversity is on an island is the number of species on the island. And this is determined by several things, immigration and extinction rates, the size, the distance, and the age of the island. And when we talk about distance, we're talking about distance from the mainland. So for instance, this island is closer to the mainland than this island is. Immigration and extinction are concepts of immigration is when species arrive on an island and extinction is when they disappear permanently from an island. So species diversity and immigration and extinction interact with each other in interesting ways. As diversity increases, which is shown by the purple arrows here, diversity increasing, in this case, immigration rate decreases. So as extinction rate also increases when immigration increases. And so as diversity goes up, immigration rate increases and extinction rate increases, which is what this big X is showing here. And the reason that happens is because the more species that end up on the island, the less likely it is that each new individual coming to the island is going to represent a new species. And the reason extinction goes up when immigration goes up is because the more individuals there are on the island, the more competition there's going to be. So area effects are pretty simple. Larger islands tend to have higher diversity than smaller islands do. And that's just because on a larger island, there are more habitats and microhabitats, which are just little tiny habitats. So for instance, there are more different areas where it would be obvious to the human eye that this is one habitat compared to another. But there are also tiny little habitats that are no bigger than the size of the surface of a rock. So a larger area just simply has more space, and so there are more likely to be more habitats there. Distance effects are also interesting. Diversity tends to be highest on islands that are near to a mainland. So this mainland is a source of immigrants. So a larger island is more likely to get more immigrants than a smaller island is, just because of the distance. It's more likely that individuals are going to land on an island that's close than on an island that's far away. And finally, we'll finish this unit by talking about age effects. Species diversity on an older island is higher, usually, than diversity on a younger island. And that's just because the older island has not only been around longer, and so there's been more time for species to reach the island, but it's also probably got more habitats and microhabitats because it's been in existence longer. And a younger island is not going to have had enough, as much time for individuals to arrive, and it's also not going to have had as much time to develop 
new and different habitats. So check your supplementary readings for more details about the area, distance, and age effects on island biodiversity.